Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Bud. Uh, welcome back to my uh, channel. Uh, so today we're going to discuss video editing and what the film editors do in the film industry in big budget films like Star Trek. And it's really awesome on how they do it. Um, so we are going to watch how they make um, Star Trek. So here we go. Shall we begin? The magic of filmmaking is a process of collaboration on many levels, from rigorous shooting schedules across the globe to the hard-won efforts of editing, sound design, audio and video posts, and visual effects. Founded in 1998 by J.J. Abrams and Brian Burke, Bad Robot Productions in Santa Monica, California, has been the driving force behind such hit TV shows as Alias, Lost, and Fringe, as well as major Hollywood blockbuster films, including Mission Impossible, Super 8, and Star Trek. Recently, we had a chance to tour Bad Robot's amazing production facility as they worked on their newest feature film, Star Trek Into Darkness. To learn more about how Avid is crucial to their day-to-day -day success, and get some seasoned production tips from Bad Robot's world-class film and TV editors. We also got a chance to gain some powerful insight into new cutting-edge surround sound workflows utilizing media composer that are sure to set a new standard in the world of TV and film production. Let's check it out. We have some of the most amazing people working here, and the amazing thing about this building that we're so lucky to have is the unbelievably inspiring intersection of art and technology. And one without the other would be nothing. It would just be half of a whole. And by putting them together in the way that we have and, and by having the incredible products that people like Avid make, we've been able to raise our game in a way that is actually kind of spectacular. There's uh, the editing rooms, there's the theater, there's the music room, there's the art room, there's our visual effects operation, there are sound edit rooms. We're able to do all of it in one place. What that means for JJ is total efficiency. So he can walk from one room, edit the sequence, go to another room, work on sound design for that sequence, go to another room, hear the current music mixed in. He can go up to the screening room, watch the whole thing, or do a visual effects review, and all of this without leaving the premises. And by doing that, we just get more time with it. There's so much creativity about a robot. This theater that we're sitting in has been used to, you know, to shoot scenes uh, from Super 8 and to shoot other, you know, smaller projects here. Um, we just put a green screen up. Uh, we've done sound mix in here. We've done uh, color correction in here. They've got writers who are downstairs at the kitchen tables, you know, uh, hashing out their own projects. There's like every aspect of the filmmaking process exists in this building. It's just a fantastic group of people. And I'm sure there are other places where great groups of people are, but for some reason, I think it's a vibe JJ and his wife Katie put out there, which is, you know, do your thing, be creative. We're all trying for the same thing here, sharing ideas. JJ and all the other creative people here are used to this very fast paced thing that I think absolutely comes out of the TV world. If you're an editor, you can talk to your visual effects artists or to your sound designers or to your writers or to your producers. Uh, you know, they cast here all the time also. Having everybody in one location um, helps keep everybody on the same page. And if everybody understands the creative vision of what you're trying to do, then the end product will be better and will be more in line with what you want and expect. I love working with them because uh, a long time ago, I realized that I was never going to know the things So uh, what we see here is 
that as long as we put our minds to it, then anything is possible. And for anybody who can put their mind to it, and it'll be really important, not only just for themselves, but also for self-esteem. So, um, and even amateurs like myself, um, who do video editing often enough, um, it is really rewarding to see you can push yourself. Um, please comment down below and hope to have some responses soon.